a thrill with her roomie. Hey, roomie. Oh my god, I have these jingly braces on and they're driving me nuts. But anyways, hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Gavin with Gab. I'm actually really excited for this episode. So, today we're going to be talking about dating apps and do's and don'ts. Um, and I'm really excited. This is going to be so fun. Okay? You ready? This is the one episode I've actually prepared for a semi. So let's get started. Okay, let's just preface this, preface, preface this, <laughs> um, by me saying I actually fucking hate dating apps. Um, but I download them just to be like, gross, ew, barf, okay, I'm done. Um, Yeah. Because there are a lot of losers on dating apps. Um, so I just do it for the jokes, but I don't take them seriously at all. Like, whatsoever. Because, um, like, just some of the people on there are so gross. And half of the reason is because it's always the men that are gross. It's always the men. The women are always looking stunning, as per usual. But, like, the men are just, like, icky. And here's some, like things about like things not to do things to do i don't really have things to do honestly um just don't do the thing like the things you need to do or just the things just don't do the things that they say yeah you know like you know what i mean i don't even have to explain myself um okay so i'm gonna first talk about some highlights about some dating app stories that i have um, I only have one that's actually on a dating app, and then the other one was on Snapchat. So I literally love the voice memos, and I usually, like, so I always, like, delete the apps, like, and then re-download them whenever I'm bored to just, like, scroll through, and then I'll delete them again. Um, I literally just re-downloaded it just for this segment. Um, and so I was at the beach with my friend, and, like, we're, like, going through Hinge, whatever, And, like, one of the voice memos are there. And then it was, like, your best impression. And could you not make so much noise? This fucking concrete truck? Shut the fuck up. Anyways. So, like, it was, like, your best impression. And then he does an impression of Squilliam Fancy Pants. Is that his name? Whatever his name is. From Spongebob. And it was so dead on. And like my friend literally fell head over heels for like this man. Just because of the impression. And I was like girl like you could have him. She's like oh you should go out with him. I was like I don't want to go out with him. You could date him. Like I'm good. I'm really good. But it was really funny. It was so funny. I was like hysterical. Um, And then this one's not on a dating app. This one's Snapchat. But this is definitely something not to do if you don't want to creep girls out. So there was two. The first one was really goofy. Like, so it turns out this was when I was like going into my freshman year at college. I was 17. And this dude knew that. And he's like a senior in college. He's like 22, 23. And I'm like, girl. And then he's like still going on and on, trying his hardest, like, whatever. And. Um, so one of the things he says, he was like, um, he was like, what, how tall are you? And I was like, five, three. And then he's like, oh, that's perfect. Because then, um, you're the perfect height because I'm five eleven. So then if I were to hug you, my arms would go right on your shoulders. And if we were laying on the couch and you were on top of me and like your head would be perfectly on my chest, I was like like the fuck like i literally unadded him because he was just so annoying too what are you doing and this bitch is like oh okay i was very confused um and then there was another dude who like was from like fucking texas and like he was like oh i'm in love with you i was like stop stop it right now that is so embarrassing to say like, he was so clingy and needing, needy and annoying. Like, I'm like, stop. That's just so embarrassing. Don't tell me you love me. Like, seriously. Especially if I don't know you. Like, and especially over Snapchat. Like, 
you're just checking all the embarrassing boxes right now. So fucking goofy. Like, I just can't. I can't with idiots. Like, and, like, just stop. Just stop it right there. One of my favorite things to do on, like, dating apps, though, especially Hinge, because it, like, gives you the height, is before I see the height, like, I go through their pictures, and I'm, like, trying to guess their height based off, like, the energy they give off, and, like, a lot of, like, the 5'8 gym rats, you could so tell just by, like, their first fucking picture. It's so obvious. Like, it's so funny to me how, like, you can guess people's height, like, based off their, like, energy. Like, it's one of my favorite things to do. Solid. Like, I just went on, and, like, I was, like, 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, this dude was 6'3". Like, this one, 5'11". Mm, 5'8". Five, five, Fuck. Never mind. But the thing is, he doesn't give off 5'8 energy, so that's, like, honestly a good thing. Um, ew. Ew, ew, ew. Um, some of the prompts, people don't know how to fucking respond to them. Um, and I hate the ones that are, like... I'm convinced, so this dude, like, he's like, I'm convinced that, and then, like, that's the prompt, and then he goes, you want to match with me, no, no, if I wanted to match with you, I would have, um, there's a reason I don't want to match with you, um, you're icky, gross, and you're really boring, like, I've recently discovered that you're looking at my profile, shut the fuck up, like, X, like, just gross, um, just don't like idiots um like give me something you're like boring no one likes a boring loser just saying um let's see let's get into the don'ts i have a list here so i'm looking at my notes app right now i came prepared this is the first time i've ever come prepared and i feel so proud of myself um i'm excited okay the first one this is like an unspoken rule but now i'm speaking it if you're posting with like a friend or like a group of friends don't especially if it's your first picture don't let me down and be the fucking ugly friend you better be the hottest one in that picture otherwise don't post that like that's just false advertising because i'm like oh oh and then i get really disappointed especially when it's the first picture because i'm like Oh, maybe he's the hot one. No, he's the fuggliest one in the whole group. I'm like, dude, don't even post that. Like, you're really just, like, setting people up for disappointment. And setting people up to click the X on you. And, like, it's the worst possible thing you could do. Terrible, terrible choices. They just got here. Why are they getting back in their car? That's so weird. Anyways, but yeah, that's how I feel about that. Um, also, with group pictures, don't post with other girls, especially all touchy. Like, go, like, what? That's so stupid. Like, especially if, like, you're looking for something serious, you seriously need help. That's what you fucking need. Like, I'm just like, that's such a stupid move. Like, it doesn't matter who the girl is. Like, you're just making other people think you're unavailable. Like, that's such a bad idea. Mm, terrible idea. Also, your first picture must include your face. If it doesn't, red flag immediately off the bat. Like, no. Not happening. Because, like, especially if you post, like, your first picture as, like, something that doesn't even have you in it. Like, it's, like, the fucking picture of the sky. Like, I could go look at the sky myself. What is this man doing? He's just sitting in his car. Thank God there's, like, another there's other people just sitting in their car but he's just sitting in his car with the door open but yeah so first picture gotta include the face another thing with the prompts when people like pick the prompt worst idea i ever had and then they say like hinge or dating apps dude you're fucking on the app like, if it's really the worst idea you ever had, then stay off the app. Get off the app. No one wants to hear you complaining about why you're here. Like, people are collectively on here. Like, struggling, doing the same thing. So shut the fuck up. Like, so boring, overused, lame. Ew. Now, 
if you have the pleasure <laughs> of matching with me, which is honestly not a pleasure at all, don't say hi 9,000 times. Because one, I honestly probably didn't answer the first time. Second of all, if you say hi, then I say hi back. But like a day, two days later, because a lot of times I don't even realize. Because I don't have notifications on either. So you're saying hi, and then I say hi back. Don't then go and say hi again. Like, I'm literally just going to get bored and ignore it and ignore it and like annoyed. Don't do that. Don't be a fucking idiot. And then along with like texting, don't text me my own name. I know my own name. There was this one dude. I forget what his name is. We'll say his name is Tyler. It was some basic ass boring name anyway. So, um, so like he goes, Gabby, like, what, like, it seemed like he know me. Like he, like. Gabby was like three Y's in there. I was like, Jesus, do I know this kid? Like, and then so I just say like Tyler, like mimicking the same thing. Cause I'm like, do I fucking know this dude? Like, I don't know. I really don't know if I know this dude. Um, and I didn't. And then like, I got annoyed with him anyway. And I stopped like answering anyway. Um, but yeah, don't text me my own name. I fucking know my own name and I don't even know yours. I know my name. I don't know yours. I honestly probably don't care. Um, also, the goofy-ass selfies where, like, the angle is so high and they're in the fucking bottom left corner. Everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say this. Like, they're in, like, the bottom left or the bottom right corner. And it's just, like, from their nose up. Because this, and they're really just trying to get the background. No one cares about the background. Get a good picture of yourself. Learn learn how to take good pictures of yourself i don't want this crap that i'm not photogenic no you're just terrible at taking pictures like get someone to help you if if you don't have anyone to help you literally download like fucking lens buddy like it'll take 10 million pictures for you in like such little time you could literally have it take like a hundred pictures a second like and then you're bound to find one that you like it'll just burst a bunch of pictures you're bound to find you when you would like and you're a man so you could go to places like by yourself and like you don't have any danger anyway so like you could go to a cool parking garage and take cool pics by yourself like you don't need protection anyway so you might as well go like learn how to take good pictures i don't want this crap like it's 2023 it's halfway over i don't want this crap that i'm not photogenic like i can't take good pictures no you just have to learn Taking pictures, like, looking good in pictures is a skill that you have to learn. Like, point blank, it's such a learnable skill. Like, you just gotta learn how to position yourself, how to pose, things like that. And you could literally do that all for free. Lens Buddy is free. TikTok literally has so many videos on how to pose in pictures. The angles, like... The positioning, whatever you have to, like, face, like, all of that. You can learn this for free in a day. I don't want excuses that I'm not photogenic, like, blah, blah, blah. Learn how to take pictures. How is it that every single celebrity learns how to take pictures? Like, every single celebrity on the red carpet looks good because they learned how to take pictures. They, They got it from experience. You can fucking do the same thing. You don't have to pay any publicity coach or anything on how to take pictures. Or, like, you don't even have to get tips from a model. You could honestly find tips from models on TikTok and shit like that. So, get with it. If you're on a dating app, fucking get on a social media app and figure out... Go on YouTube. Figure out how to take pictures. Stop looking like clowns, people. It's 2023. Get your shit together. Another thing. When you're, like writing yourself like as an entrepreneur like what fucking entrepreneur like an entrepreneur at the fucking unemployment office like come on give me a real job like tell me if you're an entrepreneur tell me like oh i'm an entrepreneur for this because either when you say entrepreneur to me i'm thinking two things you're either unemployed or you're a drug dealer like or some sort of illegal activity that's the only two things I'm fucking thinking. 
give me a real job. Tell me something. Give me more substance. Be like, oh, I'm like an owner of this company. Oh, I do this. Like, give me more. Like, you could be an entrepreneur for real, but like, give more. Like, no one cares that you're fucking calling yourself an entrepreneur. Give me more CEO vibes, you know? Yeah, because that's just stupid. Um, also, when you have to change the, your age to be the correct age in the fucking caption because you can't change it once you created the account because you were on there, like, before you were supposed to be, just fucking delete the account and start over. That's so embarrassing. They have to be like, oh, like, I'm actually, like... Like, the age says it's, like, 21 or 23. Oh, I'm actually, like, 19. Bitch, just fucking delete the account and just restart. Like, I can't. It's just embarrassing. Because then everyone knows you were a whore at a young age. Come on, man. Get it together. There's nothing wrong with being a whore, but, like, men are just the problem. And I stand by that. Um, okay. Tinder gold. I got it, like, when I first got Tinder, just because I was, like, curious. And that's just expensive. It's, like, $20 a month. I found a loophole. I got my money back. But, like, the people... What the problem is, is the people that are, like, spending money on this shit. It's not even that good. You're just seeing who match with you. That's so fucking lazy. Like, that's just kind of like you're settling because they match with you, so you'll match with them. So fucking stupid. Absolutely not. It's like $20 a month. Don't pay for that shit. Like, especially when you're paying for this shit for prolonged periods of time. Like, if you've been on Tinder for, like, a year, and you've been using that shit for a year, that's, like, 240 bucks, right? Yeah. Fucking, like, get a pet for that. Find a compit and get therapy for that. I don't fucking know what to tell you, but like, there's probably a reason that you've been on there for so long. Not gonna lie. It's just, and you're paying for it. That's even sadder. Have some human interaction, people. Oh, and then also in the captions, when people are like, I don't like blank girls, like, I don't like fat girls, I don't like blah blah, like, just. Like, you can have preferences, but keep them to yourself. Like, you literally just don't have to match for them. Like, you don't have to make everyone else feel like shit because, like, you wrote this in there. Just don't fucking match with them. Like, don't fucking match with people that don't align with your preferences. Like, I don't fuck with conservatives, but I'm not saying don't match with me if you're a conservative. Like, I just literally just click the X. It's that simple. Like, you just don't have to match with them. But you don't have to make other people feel shitty because of your preferences. Like, fuck off. Like, just get a tattoo that says, I'm a fucking asshole on your head. Now we're mainly talking about pictures. I think. Yeah. I think all of these are just based on pictures. Okay. First of all, gym bros. Mainly geared towards you when you're doing that weird contorted pose. And, like... You're, you look like you're suffocating yourself and you're contorting your body and you look like a flamingo or like a peacock, like fucking sticking their chest out. Yeah, we don't do those. Stop. You look like a clown. I love when I go to the gym and I'm like, like at my gym, like the cardio is upstairs and then like the weights are like right below it. I love watching like the gym bros in the mirror it's so funny (laughs) they look so stupid (laughs) doing like all those posing like stop no one cares okay sorry you look like an idiot like you can be proud of yourself but also like that's not what you normally look like in that pose position like that's not how you naturally look like stop it just looks embarrassing to be honest Like, I mean, like, if you really fuck with it, like, sorry. Go ahead. Like, I don't mean to offend you, but, like, it looks really dumb. Also, weird filters on the picture. Like, stop. Can we, like, be more candid? Can we seriously be more candid? Like, come on, guys. Like, this is for everyone. Like, but can we be more candid? And just stop with, like, the weird-ass grainy filters that, or, like, the Snapchat filters like, adjust, yeah, go ahead, like, I love, like, editing my pictures and adjusting, like, the lighting and shit like that, but, like, 
stop changing your face with stupid ass snapchat filters and tiktok filters because i'm gonna meet you and be like oh like honest i i mean i'm not gonna meet you i'm probably never gonna fucking even like click the heart but people are gonna meet you and be like you don't even fucking look like this fucking clowns like stop stop with it also the pictures some of them the amount of times that i've come across this people will have like five pictures and it's literally you could tell they took it in a span of like two minutes it's the same exact fucking clothes it's just a slightly different angle it's the same exact background like it's just like they took their phone and went up 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 or to the side like it's literally the same five pictures just a different angle it's so stupid give me something give me a little variety it's just so lame then if you're doing mirror pictures and it's only mirror, i literally was looking today and someone had only mirror pictures and the mirror was fucking crusty as hell if you're gonna put that many mirror pictures on clean your goddamn mirror i will give you windex if it means you'll clean your fucking mirror it's so embarrassing like you can't even see through it was literally so gross that you can't even see through the mirror at a certain point like just wipe the fucking mirror i can't now this is a big one don't expect me to start the chat because i won't but i also want answer and finish the chat it's so bad so like like if you go through my tinder there's so many people that I just don't answer. Like, if I actually end up matching with someone because I, like, literally reject everyone. <laughs> they're all, like, they all say your turn. There's just, like, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that just say your turn. Then another one that I just literally ghosted. Um, yeah. I don't answer, so please you see me don't it? then another one that says yeah then i have like 10 and another one yeah no mm-hmm. so don't expect me to start the chat that's what i really gotta say um but yeah that's pretty much all i have on that topic hold on let me see if i can find some more another one i just came across when they crop people out of the photos and it's so obvious like there's this one dude it makes sense he's fucking five six this is nothing against short guys but he's five six guys come on um if you could tell it's a big group picture and there's a bunch of girls in it and you could at least there's at least two girls and he's the only guy in this like version of the picture he has his arm around one and then he cropped the girl out, but you could still see her face, like, the second girl. Like, that's so stupid. Just honestly, and in this picture, he honestly could have cropped it to just be himself. Like, that's so stupid. Like, oh my god. Like, you could tell they're cropped. Oh, and also, don't take a picture of your fucking ID. That looks so stupid. Um. Yeah, I don't fuck with those. Like, also, I don't really care about your memes. Stop. Um. Hmm. Oh, shit. This one, dude, goes, one thing I'll never do again, my professor. Uh. Um. Yeah, no. Just very icky. Something I want to try with you is I don't use this app anymore. Then delete the account. St- like, why are you still... Like, I don't get it. Like, every single one of his prompts are like, I don't use this app anymore. Just delete it. Just delete it at this point. Like, why are you even on it? I don't get it. That's so stupid. Um, yeah. So, icky, icky, boring, lame, barf. That's all I have to say about that. So, I just want to say this obviously like obviously this is all like a little well i mean i'm serious but like don't take it seriously if you do those things um 
just think of it as light-hearted advice. Um, and it's all jokes, fun. But yeah, so that's just my take on it. And my opinion is my opinion. So it's just like, you do you. Um, that's all I gotta say on that one. But thank you so much for joining me today. This was a fun little episode. Um, and I was very excited for it. So, let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, and if you like things like this. And, yeah. I love you guys. I'll see you next Thursday. 6 o'clock, as usual. Kisses!